Okay, this is going to be about number four, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four and eight, and I'm going to talk about how, just like the chain and the quotient rule can mix, how can I mix the product rule and the chain rule. So let's start with this one. So this will be uh, 3x plus 2 to the tenth times uh, 7x squared plus 3 all to the fifth. So I could multiply all that out, but that would take a very long time. So instead, think of all of this as my A and all of this as my B for the product rule. So if I do that, my A prime is 10, 3x plus 2 all raised to the ninth, and then the chain rule of what's inside there is 3. Likewise, my B prime is 5, 7x squared plus 3 to the 4th times 14x for the chain rule. And the 3 becomes 0, just like the 2 did on A prime. So putting this all together, let's do that on the next page. So if you see here, I've written all four things again, and on A prime and B prime, I've simplified them a little, I just multiplied the 10 and the 3, and then the 5 and the 14x. You don't need to do that on your gateway. Maybe you even shouldn't, but it'll just make this look a little nicer. So, our final answer, dy dx, will be a prime b plus a b prime. So, a prime is 30, 3x plus 2 to the ninth. And then my original b is 7x squared plus 3 to the 5th. And I will add that to a, which is 3x plus 2 to the 10th, times b prime, which is 70x, 7x squared plus 3, all raised to the 4th. And that's it.